Hey, what's hey, up, guys? This is John. This is Matt. Hey, how's it going? And today we're here to talk to you about three of Matt's favorite things yeah. when it comes to photography. And today's topic is about three of his favorite websites. Right. So I think you guys are going to love this video. It's holiday time. And, uh, it's so holiday it's... time. So instead of Oprah's favorite things, it's Matt's favorite things. Yeah. And we got three of them today. Number one, you've probably heard of this site, but Matt's going to tell you. And hopefully, if you haven't, then head on over there to kenrockwell.com. I came across Ken in uh, 2007. Uh, he has been incredibly helpful to me over the years. Guy, guy just loves cameras, loves lenses. He's constantly reviewing all the new Nikon, all the new Canon equipment. Um, it really helped me out early on in my career just to know what was good, what was bad, what to avoid, what to look for when you're vetting out, you know, Canon, Nikon, they're constantly rolling out new equipment, right? Yeah. So is that new, Iteration where they you know bumped it up a hundred go from seven thousand to say seventy one hundred is it worth is spending it worth the money yeah. right or do you pass and wait for the next model uh, so I've been utilizing that site for well, now well over a decade now uh, he's incredibly opinionated which I, you, you can kind of love about the guy but it's it is a wealth of resource that stretches back years and. Uh, 1999, right? I think he started the I site. I think so. He's been around a long time, and yeah. he loves film. So if you have a penchant or an itch to get into the older, um, you know, the, the the photography of days past, get back into the film, because you know there's a resurgence there. It's very yeah, niche. It's people, like uh, record albums. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, he he he'll go on and on about some of those old uh, those old cameras. So uh, check it out. Sounds got a good uh, suggestion. I like I like that you said he does he reviews Canon and Nikon because you find a lot of people yeah. that are like. Only Canon or only Nikon. Oh, no. so he, I, I like he, that. He, he does not discriminate. He's looking for the best of the best that takes the best portraits. He taught me how to worry about how the camera utilizes the megapixels. Like what? How does it expose? How does it um, handle different lighting situations? When you crank up the ISO, does it just go to crap? You know, that's the stuff he thinks about, not just like, oh my God, this new camera has a gajillion megapixels. Is the value there, and he'll yeah, tell you about it. Because awesome. what are you going to do with a gajillion megapixels, honestly? When what we're doing, we're printing 8x10s. Right. You, know, you, you only need like half a gajillion megapixels. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And so if you only need a half, you know, let's find the best camera that, that you know, for the task. Of All right, so that was KenRockwell.com. That was mm-hmm. Matt's first favorite thing, your yep. favorite website, photography related website. And number two is more in the realm of what we were specializing in, which yep. is school and sports photography. And that website is tethertools.com. All right, so I'm a big believer in the poor person pays twice. So some, my, my next I two on the list, twice. absolutely. So this is more of like uh, buy yourself a Christmas gift, holiday gift, whatever you want to do. It's Matt's holiday sweater. Today. Absolutely, it's, like, it's kind of, it's <laughs> cold outside. Tether Tools makes Awesome equipment for if you're shooting tether. If you're, you know, the senior portrait photographer, okay. um, even on site, even school photographers that shoot tethered. Yeah, I recommend checking out their equipment. Uh, it's it's not cheap, but it is incredibly well built. So if you want to build out an awesome station, their um, their rock solid line of arms and clamps. Um, you know, the arrow tables. You get your laptop sitting here. Uh, crossbar running across cameras there you know every everything can be right there in front of you in a very easy to access and very stable platform that's amazing because you always have to replace cords like that and race to shoot oh, yeah, with yeah. like sync cords and those oh, things but, would get yes. so bent up so the jerk stopper sounds like a good uh, solution for that yeah. so check out tethertools.com that was Matt's second favorite website yes photography related website and the third one that we're gonna move on to now is think tank photo Dot com. Absolutely. ThinkTankPhoto.com. Th- ThinkTank. They make incredible camera bags. I have been using their retrospective line okay. for eight years now, I think. I bought a uh, retrospective too. Uh, also, again, these aren't cheap bags, but they are incredibly well built. And what I love about the retrospective line, um, it can it does dual purpose. If I'm on a, on a shoot, I get my equipment out there. But then if I'm traveling, doing some personal photography, it is this... Uh, nice canvas bag it's super low-key it doesn't scream hey look I'm at me uh, I'm a photographer so and I've got <laughs> yeah I've got 10k just riding on my right. yeah. you know that's it, it just looks like uh, I'm walking around with a messenger bag yeah um, but inside is you know a couple lenses my camera 
and I'm good to go. And uh, I can't recommend their, their product enough. It's That's awesome. Incredibly well-built canvas bag. Has a lot of little bells and whistles, all in little pouches, um, a lot of cool features. So they're, they Check specialize in you know, that type of thing for photographers, like photography bags, mm -hmm. but more stylish Absolutely. More, and just more subtle. In, and you, you can go off. They, they have other lines. Yeah. So I Check saw their website. It looked really good. So all these websites, I think Matt hit the nail on the head with these three. I'm sure he could have talked about more, but these were three that are kind of all in different. Yeah, we, we like three hot takes, right? Yeah, three mm -hmm. hot takes and Matt's three favorite websites. I think these three are good because they're kind of in different realms. Uh, you got KenRockwell.com, TetherTools.com, ThinkTank photo.com absolutely and we're not affiliated we're just fans of these websites matt's a huge fan of these websites <laughs> so we want to pass the love around pass the information not around. affiliated That's i just i have you used this equipment i've used the site and you just can't yeah. recommend it enough and we'll leave links below so you guys can just go right there and check out those websites yep. and, and see for yourself what matt's talking about yeah you know because there's so much out there now there yeah, yeah, it's so, to so many for, bags you go on amazon.com like i need a camera bag it's <laughs> And you're trying to figure out, okay, well, is that well built? Uh, can you trust the reviews? Right. Um, and so I, I have beat on my retrospective bag for eight years now. And it's, it's great. It's holding right up, there. and I, I, I use it every week. Awesome. Check them out and leave any comments. If you guys have other sites, share the knowledge and information with us. You can share it with other photographers in case there's a site that you like as well. And tell us what you think about these sites in the comments below too. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next video. Y'all take care.